Welcome to my YouTube channel, Gaspar De Rosa here, and today I'm going to make another um, um, Chabacano lessons, adverb of um, of quantity that answer the question how many. So first of all, I would just want to say I'm very sorry um, for having uh, been um, been absent. I uh, have been a long time. I think almost a year that I didn't make a um, Chabacano lesson. I do, do make, make videos, other videos aside from Chabacano lesson, but I was uh, very busy uh, with my schedule and, and with my work. And plus with this um, pandemic, um, COVID-19, so, you know, uh, everything is, um, people are very anxious, very uh, scared of the reality. So. As a nurse, it's part of my job to um, um, help the community and also help my family as well as for myself. Trying to be um, and to be on the safe side as always. So it's very, a very, um, very tasking to do, to work and same time trying to balance and um, and life. But anyway, I'm sorry for that. So for all the new subscribers and welcome to my YouTube channel. So. I'm just teaching on basic Chabacano. I'm from Sambanga City, Philippines, so our dialect we speak um, Chabacano. So today I'm going to make an adverb of um, a Chabacano is an adverb of a quantity that answers the question like how many. So how many? Usually we have, I think, four. We have four. So for how many um, adverbs you can say like we have more. More is mass. Mass. M A S more is mass and we have much which is mucho mucho so i think it's a very common word to say mucho m-u-c-h-o mucho a few or a little uh, is poco p-o-c-o poco poco and enough like enough already so it's bastante bastante b-a-s-t-a basta te bastante and te so bastante so those are the words you can say like mas um, is more mucho is much poco or a little or few and then enough we have bastante so those were the words of adverb of quantity so for example you can say like for mas and mucho these two words are I think have the same um, meaning or attribute it depends on how you use in a sentence uh, very affordable very affordable so mas barato barato is means affordable so mas barato so very af affordable and for much uh, mucho you can say like uh, mucho jutay pero or mucho perito so mucho is means many perito is like little puppy but you can say jutai pero or small dog it's not a puppy maybe it's just a very small dog like chihuahua or something so mucho uh, perito so plenty of little puppies and for uh, little for a few we can say poco so you can say like poco uh, poco caro so a little bit expensive caro is expensive so you can say poco caro so a little bit expensive and for bastante um, what you can say is enough already so bastante bastante yeah so enough already so or you can say like um, usually in a sentence bastante uh, para conmigo uh, these things are already enough for me so enough bastante so I will make another video for um, adverbial forms uh, because there's a relationship between the mass in the adverb of uh, quantity to with adverbial forms. So those uh, words I will make in my, my next video, so stay tuned about it. And for example, um, I will give a few um, examples of adverbial forms. At least you can have an idea for the next. So we can say like we have like even though or even if or although. Even though, uh, even if or although, we can say maskin, 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 and we have say again, like all over again. Please do it again. So we have, we have, we have the word is ole, ole, o l 
E H. We don't pronounce the H, so we don't say Ole. Ole. So Ole. Which is a, it means again. Not yet. Um, not yet is a uh, Nuanai. Nuanai is not no anai is nuanai n u a n a y so nuanai not yet and we have almost almost is like uh kasi c a s i kasi almost done serkaya kasi so it's almost here serka is near so ya kasi so it's almost near so and as if is dao or doll. Dao or doll is depends how you use it. Dao comes after uh, a word or the end of a sentence like umalin dao. Umalin is not good. Uh, it's not good for the quantity so you can say umalin dao. So umalin is ugly or something that is distasteful so you should use the word dao. So at the end of that word or in a paragraph. So as if so as if it's ugly, malin daw. Or when you say doll, you use it uh, ahead of, uh, before a word, before a start of a sentence. Doll umalin, doll umalin. So you see the difference? So doll umalin, as if it's ugly, as if um, uh, it's not pleasurable. So doll umalin. The difference between daw and doll. And then the next one is um, we have um, only. So this is the most common kind of words that you can hear is only. Um, in Jamaican is lang, l a n g lang, uh, akilang, or akilang, which means uh, just over here, only here. You're trying to make a bad stop. You're trying to make a vehicle stop. So urilla lang, urilla is means um, the corner or something or at the sidewalk or uh somewhere in the street that uh, is on the side of the street so urilla lang so lang is like only only um you can usually say like okay lang so it's like i'm okay it's not like 100 percent it's like you're not sure <laughs> you're trying to stay here okay but you can say okay lang so like yeah i bit i bit okay so that is the one the adverbial forms that is very common Lang. and we have like uh, like this um, like this is ansina a n s i n a ansina so like this uh, ansina is there uh, like this like this uh, um, this is how you do it ansina to ase ansina to ase so this is how you do it ansina to ase and the last one is um, we have presently um, already or finally you can use the word yeah yeah like you can say like um, takia taki is means here so it's already here already so takia you can say, say the word taki here but it's already here so yeah is the last word you uh, it is mostly placed uh, after a word so you can not say yeah uh, uh, yeah taki Takiya. So Takiya means already here. So those were the example of, of adverbial words. Uh, so I will discuss furthermore in my next video. So today we just discuss about the um, adverb of um, quantity that asks, uh, answer the question of how many. So we have mass which is more. Uh, mucho which, which means uh, much. And then we have a little or a few we say poco and bastante which means enough. And the last examples are just adverbial forms. So I will just put at the end of this video all those examples of adverbial words. So you can just follow through. And then I hope you will still um, subscribe to my channel and um, try to see you in the next video again. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Precious.